Hey guys, it's K7, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to convert a legitimate CIA to a 3DS file so that it can be playable on your Citra emulator. Now, the steps are very easy, and I've given you all you need in this tutorial, so the only thing you will need to do is go down to the link in the description and download the CIA to 3DS converter. Once you do that, then you can continue. After downloading your CIA to 3DS converter, you're going to open it. And when you open it, you're going to get a folder titled CIA to 3DS converter. And in that folder, you're going to have two extra folders. One folder, again, the CIA to 3DS converter, and then a test legit CIA to convert for your first time to test converting a legit CIA to a 3DS file. Remember, it has to be a legitimate CIA in order for this to work or it's not going to work because it has to be decrypted. So it has to be legitimate. So what you want to do with these two files is you want to take the test legitimate CIA and remove the contents within the folder when you go into the folder as you can see we have our game this is the game that was previously used for those of you who are familiar with this channel and downloaded the Citra emulator with the test CIA this CIA was once the CIA then converted into a legitimate 3ds file so this is the same CIA we're going to be using as far as extra CIAs, you can find them in places if you go to Google, etc., etc. You know, you can find it on the internet, but you can find legitimate CIAs. And keep in mind and note that they have to be legitimate in order to successfully convert them over into a 3DS file that'll be readable for your Citra emulator, or should I say 3DS emulator? Okay, so you're going to take this file. And then you're going to copy the file name. Make sure you copy everything. Okay, once you've copied the name, you're going to remove this file from it from the contents of its folder and place it within the CIA to 3DS converter folder. Once you've done this, you're all set. Now, what you need to do is run the CIA to 3ds converter okay once it opens you're gonna get this little menu you're gonna hit 3 to hit view converter menu and then hit enter once you hit enter a new menu is gonna pop up once you get here you're gonna hit the number 6 and then hit enter again for the starting of the CIA to 3ds converter so hit 6 and then press enter so the name that you were instructed to copy earlier from the CIA, you're going to paste here. So you just right click and paste it and then hit enter. This will begin the process of converting the CIA to a 3DS file. So just right click and hit paste. So once it's pasted in there, you're going to hit enter and then just wait. It'll say, please wait. So just wait for it to get done. It'll take a while, so I'll fast forward this and we'll continue when it's finished. Hey, Editing Kai here. I forgot to mention that using this program takes up a lot of resources on your computer. So make sure you have a really decent computer before starting the CIA to 3DS conversion. Or if you don't have a decent computer, make sure you don't run anything or do anything else on your PC until this process is done because it really takes a lot of resources out of your computer when converting the CIA or a CIA to a 3DS file. Anyway, that's all. Back to the video. So here we are at the finishing process. As you can see, it says congratulations. Hit any key. You're all done. So you end up back at this little menu. So what you want to do is go back to your C 
DIA to 3DS converter file folder. And in there, you should find your converted file. So in here, you can see that the converted CIA file has now been converted over into a 3DS file. The only thing you have to do, you may not see this little 3DS Citra symbol there. The only thing you will have to do to make it be compatible with your 3DS is you will need to right click on it, go down to properties, and then once you open the properties window, you're going to go up and you're going to see the change to you're going to find your Citra emulator shortcut and then you're going to click on that and then that'll make it compatibly open the file with your Citra emulator. So just click open with and find the shortcut for the Citra emulator and then you can get this icon like so. But anyway, that pretty much does it for this tutorial. I hope I was able to help you guys. Once again, if you have any questions, leave your comments down below. Also, make sure to slap that like button and share this with your friends. Anyways, until next time, this has been K7. Peace and enjoy converting your new CIA files to 3DS playable games for Citra. Take care guys, later.